Hey everyone, Gaming Ghost Infinity back with another video, and um, I'm gonna do something a little different this time. Even though, again, I am indeed a VHS collector, um, I decided to do a little project I've been working on for three and a half months. Um, I'm still baffled that it took me that long just to do this. Um, introducing the Ren and Snippy Golden Collection. Um, I've made this since um, February of this year, and um, it's mostly the fact that there was just a bunch of ideas I tried to do. So I'm going very really far, but decided to bail it out since it just wasn't that really... It didn't go to all, all, all to my full uh, artistic uh, appeal. Um, when I first started doing this, um, pre-production of this collection I made back in um, uh, the beginning of the year in January, I decided to do a uh, full playthrough of Sonic the Hedgehog. Record on VHS tape. Uh, the tape master was done, but I decided to bail it out since uh, it only got me like an hour and around like 70 minutes long. So I decided to do a playthrough of Sonic 3D Blast since that took me like 76 minutes to, to create. I got the artwork and I was looking for a clamshell in the best condition, but I decided to build that either. Until I realized that, let's see, around May, the beginning of May, reruns of the Ren Stippy show were airing around Nick Rewind, the uh, nighttime blog for Team Nick. Um, so I decided to make a recording of the most episodes I can make. And I decided to record them on my VCR since I got a, uh, a, um, another TV. Again, I'm a dumpster diver. Don't judge me. And I decided to split it into two video cassettes. Um, each of them containing eight episodes, all in cut and remastered, digitally restored. Well, kind of. I just added that in. Um, but yeah, this is what came from the best of me after three and a half months worth of doing one little tape master. That did lead to a bunch of tapes I have to reuse, though. Luckily, I did get new copies of said tapes. I had to reuse my VHS tapes of the three Caballeros and Cinderella. But now I do have new copies of them, but I'm not gonna... But I'm not gonna do another update showing them since they're literally the same. But it's fine. I also uh, ordered two blank VHS tapes. Um, I ordered two blank VHS tapes and two Rugrats VHSs I don't care about. Um, I basically reused all of them, recycled their orange, um, their orange tape, uh, shell. Um, you know, the shell. And now we're using them all and make it into this, so, how about we start looking at the first volume. Um, I'm gonna be giving these to my father, aka a Father's Day present. Since I am gonna be heading to Vegas in a few weeks, to be over there for summer vacation. I will be, I'll try to upload some videos over there. But uh, this contains eight idiotic masterpieces. And as you can see, I put a little kind of review there. And it kicked ass, says the Nostalgia Critic for its Nicktoons um, video from January 7th, 2009. Now, um, I did try to copy some artwork, some official artwork. Um, as you can see, for Stimpy, he's based off of a certain piece of artwork from John and Ren. Uh, I did on my own. It's kind of the face that I kind of reused. Um, this is part of my um, Nomad Home Entertainment brand. And here's the back. Um, these are not for individual sale, of course. And as you can see, I tried to do my uh, copy of certain artwork I know of Ren and Sippy dancing, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy. As you can see on the back, the uh, record of the song. And this contains... Um, seven or eight episodes um stimpy's big day the big shot rubber nibble salesman ren's too fake i love chicken the great outdoors black hole and stimpy's invention um stimpy's big day and the big shot some people i many people and some fans of the show my friends can be a bit of a fan of the show they say that stimpy's big day and the big shot is a full 30 minute episode and i can see that but i'm just gonna count it as like two um, separate episodes and on the bottom it's um 88 minutes long since this <laughs> since they're like 11 to 15 minutes long also I put the um, Nick logo the Spunko logo since Spunko did work on the episodes in games animation 
which will later be Nickelodeon Animation Studios, since they did take over the series from season three onwards. Um, Games Animation also worked on um, Rockles Modern Life as well. Now for the tape inside. Again, I use in the orange clamshell, the orange tape case, the VHS tape shell I got from those two Rugrats VHSs I bought, and reuse them. And as you see the label, I tried to, to make it look similar to a Disney VHS label. It, a mix of... Here, let's see if I can show it to you in a moment. I tried to make it similar to a, uh, a Disney VHS label. As you can see from the oversized label, like this one with Dumbo. And a Wonder Home Video label, label from the 80s and 90s. As you can see from the vertical sticker label design. You know, since the logo on this one. The lo Nomad Home Entertainment logo is on the top. And the FBI warnings is on the bottom. The same with um, Wonder Home Video. With the Wonder Home Video label. Um, so I tried to make it a, a mix of both a Disney VHS label from the 80s and a Warner Home Video VHS from the 80s and 90s. I also made a little insert inside of here. This, uh, this is basically like a monologue of how John K. created the show. Um, where I got this from uh, a uh, four six parter video from YouTube called Magic Nose Goblins, the John K. story. You should look it up. It's really good. I never expect the uh, production rent in Stimpy was that insane. Um, a little background since I'm in this book. Um, John K., uh, he worked for many other um, animation studios before the Ren and Stimpy show. He first worked for the... Um, he first worked for the uh, music video for um, the Rolling Stones, Harlem Shuffle. And then he later worked with Ralph Batchy again for Mighty Mouse and New Adventures. And then he later went to Deke to work on the reboot for Beanie and Cecil. It was also the first time he met Billy West. And he worked with him. And then around 1989, Nickelodeon was looking for creator-driven cartoons. And so he j jumped in. And around... This September 1990, the development of the pilot Big House Blues began. And then uh, after that, they went through a huge um, production struggle. Episodes weren't being made. They had to air um, Stimpy's Big Day two times. And the series got its popula popularity um, when, uh, when the first few episodes premiered on MTV in December. And then when Stimpy's Invention was, first, was then released... The series became a success. And as you see, this was the original um, sticker label design and the original concept of this collection. I used to call it the Ren and Stimpy Idiot Collection, but I decided that it kind of sounded a bit messed up. So I decided to um, change it into the Golden Collection. Now for the label, I had a, uh, a gold sparkly pen, whatever it's called, a glitter pen. And I basically just covered it with that. Um, the end label, unfortunately... Um, these pens always waste, the pen I always use for this, they always um, run out very fast, so I had to make a label basically the same as the Warner Brothers end label. I don't have any uh, Warner Brothers VHS tapes to do that. Um, the Incredible Lister Limpet is my only Warner Brothers VHS tape, so. Anyways, here's the second volume. Um, this is, I just recently finished this um, a week ago. And this one I decided to make the episodes based off of. Most episodes based on Stimpy, or stuff Stimpy does. As you can see, um, the, there's Mr. Horse and Powder Toast Man. Um, I did put mostly Stimpy-related episodes, including the two-parter Stimpy's Fan Club. But I did put some other episodes in order to not... In order to put some other pieces of variety, like The House in, S the, the house in Next Tuesday, and Powder Toast Man vs. Waffle Woman. And I ended it all off with Nurse Stimpy. Um, since that contained a little ending sequence where they could, since they, uh, said goodbye to the kids or the audience, that was really good. And this one is 98 minutes, even though it says 89 minutes, I accidentally, it's actually 98 minutes. And as you see on the front, the, uh, the cover 
is based off the episode to self or not to self. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the episode since I don't have it on my DVR anymore. But it's fine. This one, I basically replicated the a Warner Home Video sticker label, as you can see. And again, you can see the Smumco and the Games Animation logo. And I also replicated the end label, similar to a Warner Home Video release. And I put a print day on the top here. Because apparently the one who owned this, um, the VHS, the Rugrats VHS on this one was a Rugrats Vacation. So the one who originally owned this had a the end label and the top that said a Rugrats Vacation. So, as you can see, I put the print dates of... June 9th, 2019, that was the day I finished it, and then May 30th, 2019, where I made the, uh, where I done the VHS. But yeah, um, it's, it's quite of a something, I suppose. And yeah, that's basically this one I wanted to show you just, just so I can add another uh, video to my channel since I barely do anything on there. Uh, but yeah, the Ren Stimpy Golden Collection, 16 whole episodes and two video cassettes. And I'm very happy that I finally got this completed before I'm going to be heading off to Vegas in a few weeks. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, you guys are great. Um, I finally reached up to 50 subscribers, which I'm pretty proud of myself for. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Till then, I'll see you when another video is being made.